So we know of our Modern Warfare 2 masteries, gold, platinum, polyatomic, and Orion, but there's even more mastery grinds to do beyond that, and one of them is getting an update soon. Today we're running down the new Ultra Mastery Reward update and what you should expect and how it'll be earned. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below on what you'd like to see for the future Grand Mastery Rewards, if any were to be introduced beyond this, and if you'd be inclined to go for any of them knowing what they entail. If you enjoy the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone Zone 2 and anything COD related, especially with Season 3 Reloaded upcoming. As well, we may be live throughout the weekend here and upcoming in the next couple of days, so links down below to my streams if you're at all interested in joining. I'd love to have you in the conversations, but for now, let's jump into the new Ultra Mastery rewards coming to Modern Warfare 2, and unfortunately, how they might not be exactly what you'd hope for. So our current mastery that we have for Modern Warfare 2 is usually described as our camo mastery, gold, platinum, polyatomic, and Orion camos. That tasking you with completing each mastery for every single weapon and then a gauntlet of different mastery challenges above and beyond that for those that grind out the game, those that put their heart to it, they absolutely can do it. This year's I'd still say is more tedious than actually like difficult. So it's just something that takes time. You just got to commit to it. But beyond that, there are a couple of other things. Recently, we've seen introduced seasonal grinds as well. Seasonal masteries where the Path of the Ronin event introduced us to two additional camos, one introduced for categorically completing, say, assault rifles, SMGs, LMGs, snipers, and then one once you completed every single categorical challenge that you had, so that you had a sort of mastery challenge there. That's going to be replicated here this upcoming week with a Season 3 Reloaded update where we're going to have additional camo challenges already broken down. We've talked about that here on the channel already, but beyond that, there's still another mastery grind that many players probably won't embark on, and I do not blame them for that. That being Grand Mastery for weapons in Modern Warfare 2. Now, this, it's not so much advertised as the ones we just mentioned, but Grand Mastery is the grind after completing Orion to go a step further. It tasks you with getting a certain amount of kills for every single weapon with single mastery camos equipped. But until recently, unlike Orion, where you could use DLC weapons to cut out weapons that you didn't necessarily want to do, like your launchers, your melees, maybe your pistols, you could replace those with other weapons that may be easier. Until recently, you had to do the Grand Mastery challenges on the base launch day weapons. Those 51 weapons that shift with the game instead of any 51 that you so chose to do yourself. So in some cases, you might not have been able to do these because you didn't have, say, your Joker, Gold, or Platinum, or Polyatomic, or Orion. But the challenge tasked you with getting 100 kills with that weapon Gold, 200 with it Platinum, 300 with it Polyatomic, and 400 with it Orion. So a total of an additional 1,000 kills for every single weapon that you ended up doing. Now again, like I mentioned, you can now use this with DLC weapons, if I'm not mistaken. So it does make it a little little bit easier to some regard, but that's still an insane amount of 51,000 kills after you've done Orion camo, after you've done the mastery here at its base. So that's something that along the way you'll be granted with calling cards, emblems, and a lot of XP. But going 51,000 kills deep into another grind, what do you get for completing that? Well, unfortunately, all you ended up getting was a Grandmaster weapon charm that was a skull and it had the barrels of a various number of different guns around the edging here of that. That was what you got for 51,000 kills and probably days of playtime spent grinding that out. Now, the value, the worth is entirely subjective. Personally, I haven't embarked on this just because, well, it's a weapon charm. I do like the weapon charm itself, but I'm not going to put myself through all that pain just for that. But as for the update itself, as underwhelming as this reward may have been for the weapon charm, surely the update looks to introduce something a little more worthwhile, right? Well, how do I put this lightly? Because, uh... It doesn't. According to Redditor Red Callahan, his emblem updated after the recent update for Season 3 and the launch back in the middle of April, where it showcased the Grandmaster weapon charm, but in emblem format and animated. So it wasn't something like the PNG icon for the weapon charm itself, just accidentally made its way over into his emblem category. It was an animated specific item for the Grandmastery in that emblem category. So it seems like with this update, we're going to get another reward, though albeit still small, but you'll be rewarded with a charm and then an emblem of some kind. Now, when to expect this, that's the next question, because I mean, it was introduced and added to the game file seemingly with the season three update as of mid-April. And with season three reloaded coming as of this week, a logical assumption would be that it's coming as of this update as well. However, we won't know until that time, and it is possible that it might not be. It could be something held off until season four. But all in all, we are going to see some sort of mastery update at some point here. And again, 
unfortunately, it might not be worth it to a lot of people. Now, that said, what would make Grand Mastery worth it to a lot of people? Personally, if they are continuing to update the rewards for Grand Mastery, adding more stuff in to maybe incentivize players along the line, hey, don't forget about this. Here's another reward. If you want it, you can grind it out. I'd personally love to see an additional Mastery camo. I'm not necessarily getting my hopes up here for this one since we've seen the Mastery camos seasonally introduced with the Path of the Ronin event and now the Trophy Hunt update as of this upcoming week. So while I just love having a purpose to get on and grind the game, I do fully recommend recognize that we already have somewhat of an entry of what I'm asking for in that regard. Though I would love to have a base Grand Mastery weapon camo plus the seasonal ones, but that might just be me being greedy. I don't know. We did see Obsidian though introduced actually a week ago as of three years ago in Modern Warfare 2019. So if there ever could be another Mastery update, it certainly would be cool to see that kind of stuff. One thing that's been long forgotten was the rumored camo mixing feature. That was something that was even in some images pre-launch whenever camos were were shown off about a week before the launch of Modern Warfare 2, there were images that showcased the Mastery camos being mixed together. So that was something a lot of players thought would be coming for Grand Mastery. It did not. I still would love to see that return. I think it'd be a cool little additional customization option. But honestly, one thing if we see even more going further that I do think is plausible is additional Grand Mastery customization because Modern Warfare 2019 had calling cards and emblems, which if we are getting an emblem in addition to the charm, I think a calling card is logically what's up on deck next, especially because we get calling cards all along the way to completing Grand Mastery. So with an animated calling card like we had in Modern Warfare 2019, don't think that's too far off the mark to ask. But that said, that is all speculation. That's just stuff that we don't quite know of. But right now, we do know that there is going to be some kind of update to Grand Mastery for those that have embarked on that 51,000 plus kill journey and multiple days of playtime. But again, is it worth it or not? That's entirely subjective. But that said, that is what I call it. But before we wrap everything up, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market. I've worked with these guys now for over two years at this point, and they are without a doubt one of the most, if not the most beneficial partner I've worked with in that time in terms of helping my daily productivity. Sitting at a desk for six to eight to 10 hours a day, looking at a monitor, absolutely something that wears on your eyes. If you guys are like me, looking at a screen for prolonged periods of time a day, highly recommend at least looking into it. They're the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market. And unlike pair that you could find on, say, Amazon, they're clinically proven with studies to back it up. Links down below if you guys would like to check that out. And as well, Gamer Advantage can help work with you and your insurance to help cover some of, if not the entire cost of your order and making it custom tailored specifically for you. So at the very least, highly recommend checking out the link in the description below to learn more about Gamer Advantage. But if you guys want to pick something up for yourself, use code Espresso to get 10% off your entire order. But that said, that is what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think this Grand Mastery update is worth it? Do you think it's something that we just really shouldn't even care about. What are the case? Drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and say that it did all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Modern Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.